What's happening, fam? As always, give thanks and praise to your creator, whoever you may conceive your creator to be for me. Yes, another beautiful day. I look a little tired because my granddaughter had me going all day. She's too sweet, though, man. Three years old, and she loves grandpa. Always got me going. But anyway, let me jump right into this one here. Now, this game, I never heard about it. I've never heard about it. But it just goes to show that this is actually a spiritual war. And you always have to protect yourself with your crystals, your sage, your Apollo Saint of Innocence. Bless your house. Put salt in the corner of your house. Burn the innocence in the corner of your house to get rid of all negativity. Any person come to your house that you don't know, that a friend bring or come to hang out with. Can I tell people before in these days and time you don't let a lot of people come to your house because you don't know what kind of energy they are bringing. But if they do come when they leave or when they're there, burn a Palo Santo. If they're evil or if they're thinking negatively or if they don't have any liking for you, they would leave. Because a Palo Santo sends out that kind of energy or that kind of scent that would leave, that will send any negative person out of your house. Now, back to this video. This video that I'm going to put a clip up here in, I haven't heard about this game before. But it's a game that is talking about snatching your soul. And it was made by who? Mr. Gates. So check out this clip. And hey, <laughs> whatever it is, folks, like I says, whatever they're trying to do, it is not going to work. Because their time for running the planet is over. So all you guys got to do, don't get caught up with their negativity or what they're trying to do. Because they'll do anything possible to keep you locked down in their world. It's not going to work. On the then, folks, peace out. One love. You can't make this stuff up, you guys. Go look up The Nomad Soul. It's a video game from 1999. The video game was also known as Omicron. Guess who invented this game? Microsoft. Owned by Bill Gates. And the video game was about soul-snatching demons. It is interesting. You know what this game is about? It is about a totality, uh, some kind of government setup called Omicron where devils were disguising to be the authorities in power and controlling these people like slaves. So one of these beings or characters in the game start to speak out. In this game, one of the characters spoke out to the people in Omicron and told them the following words, which is very scary. I'm like very shocked, okay? The souls here are gray and withered can't get much power from them. The juiciest souls are in your dimension. As long as your soul is a prisoner in Omicron, you run the risk of being caught by a demon and thrown into the reservoir. The survival of your soul is at stake. Reshev and his corrupt government are lulling you to sleep in order to control you better. They have transformed you into puppets that are manipulated by Ix and the demons. Join the Awakened Ones and rise up to fight for your freedom. Together, we can win. That's, that's, this sounded like pretty harrowing. This sounded like pretty scary about like what was going to happen in the future or something. Some people said, man, it just uncan it's just so uncanny. Coincidentally, just matches up. It's like a scary prophecy. This video game was like prophesying of what would happen today. So that's what it looked like. That's what it felt like to the people. <clears throat> so, knowing that one, that's why with Omicron coming out and then uh, Bill Gates, that's why there are people wondering about the elitist or the globalist in charge where all the bad stuff is going on. I wonder that all of this is part of a plan or a setup for something evil and that people are truly being controlled and that they're puppets and that they really don't have freedom, right? So that's the thing of the concern with Omicron. And then the video game seemed to show a scary prediction on that one, just match coincidentally. So weird. Isn't that very weird? You have to admit that is very weird that it came out that way. Unless uh, you have studied uh, the Illuminati and occultists that what they tend to do through elitists and globalists in power is that they always do things behind symbols, set up things behind the scenes where... They're predicting what they're going to do in the future. 
but they hide it through subliminal, through messages, through hidden messages.